Hello, Virgos. Um, we're going to go ahead and begin your reading. Laid before you is your spiritual advice card. Okay, so for your spiritual advice card, um, oh, and I've already shuffled and meditated over the cards, so I'm just going to lay them out and we'll get right onto it. Okay, so for your spiritual advice card, you have re you've received perception. It's all about how you are viewing things. Um, you may need to view things in a different perspective than you normally do. Um, you want to look at a situation from all angles, uh, not just your own point of view. So um, I'm not sure what's going on with you, but um, whatever the situation is, um, I don't think it's going to be black and white. I think that it, there's going to be a lot of gray there, and um, and you need to understand that and recognize that and kind of look at the situation um, from different eyes or, you know, from from an area, uh, like you need to stand back from the situation and look at it from all angles. Um, and, you know, when you receive the perception card, it reminds us to not be too quick to judge. Okay? Um, you you are you are quite quick to judge not all of you but there are there are some of you out there that um, are very quick to judge and like I said this may be a situation that's not completely black and white um, you want to be patient because you may not have all the information needed to even make a judgment at this point so um, make sure that you are um, patient and you wait until you have all the information needed before making any kind of judgments and that you um, look at the situation from all angles um, from different perspectives and um, before you make any hard-nosed decisions. And since this um, does have to deal with your spir spirituality I do believe that you know stepping out of your comfort zone um, and maybe looking at it from an angle that you're not used to or you're not comfortable with can definitely help you grow spiritually. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on for your Earth card. Let's see if I can get it centered there for you. You have received the Four of Cups upright. Now, your Earth card is all about work, finances, career, things of that nature, money. Um, so, with the Four of Cups, this is you uh, wanting more uh, from your career or from your job. Um, whatever it is that you do to um, make a living this is you not being fully satisfied with that and for those of you who don't make a living whatever you do um, that you consider your work whether it's taking care of your house um, whether it's taking care of your children or um, perhaps it's creative projects however whatever um, there it's there's a shortcoming up and you are longing for something a little more substantial um, when it comes to being satisfactory to you. Um, now, the Four of Cups, it suggests that you already have everything that you already need. Um, you've already, you already have everything that you've ever really asked for or, or wanted. Um, well, I don't know about wanted, but definitely needed. Um, but, like I said, you want more. You want more out of it. Um, perhaps uh, some of you may be looking towards getting a different um, job or or new, it's just starting a new career, something that's just a little more fulfilling um, to you. So, yeah, um, I think I think some of you are going to be looking for a new venue of of making money or or a new career. Uh, others, I think that you're just going to kind of. <laughs> You know, it, it may be a passing feeling. You know, you may feel like this every now and again. That, you, yeah, my job, it's it may not be completely emotionally rewarding or something like that, but um, it is what it is. Or maybe um, you feel like you're not making enough money. Okay, for your air card, with communications and thoughts, you have the Ten of Swords reversed. Now this card is much better reversed than it is upright because when it's upright it's like somebody is betraying you, somebody stabbing you in the back. When it's in reverse 
it can mean a couple different things. You could have an apology coming to you that, you know, somebody did betray you. Um, somebody did, you know, speak out a turn or um, spread rumors about you or however, and now they're making amends. Um, or, or you're just simply getting over it and moving forward. Um, being the better person and rising above it. Or this could be, um, you know, you getting a heads up on what's going on. You know, somebody may be planning to um, betray you. Somebody may um, have thoughts or feelings of ill will. and um, But you, you have inside knowledge of it and you're ready for it. You're prepared for it. And, and ultimately, you're okay with it. Not that it's a good thing, but you you know that this is not going to hurt you on the degree that they would like it to hurt you. But I think for the majority of you, this is something that's already happened. Um, it's past. And um, you are moving forward. And, uh, and there are some of you that, you know, you are going to make amends. You're going to let bygones be bygones and move forward from it. Okay, for your fire card with your um, challenges and your actions. This is the more physical aspect of it. You have judgment in reverse. Now judgment, um, this card is connected with the planet Mercury and that is connected with communications. So this would have been a great card to get in your air <laughs> sector, but you didn't, you got it in your fire sector. So what does this mean? It probably means that um, you, know, you may be uh, receiving a message, but since the card is in reverse, um, this is not a message that is going to be um, perceived well or or a message that you want to hear. Um, it could be, you know, bad news or, or negative things, um, you know, that you're hearing about. Now, this may be a situation um, that you have to change your perception on. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, this is, um, and really all these cards, you can connect the perception card to really all of them. You know, even with the four of cups here, you need to change your perception because oftentimes when we get the four of cups, we're longing for more, but obviously you see the three cups in the foreground. You've already got everything you need and you need to look at those things. You need to stop being so pessimistic and, um, be more optimistic, change the way you see things. But back with the judgment card in reverse, <clears throat> you are, um, you know, Mercury is usually, it's usually a message trying to get through to you. Um, and like I said, since it is in reverse, it's most likely, you know, not going to be received well. And this is going to, um, even though it's, it deals with communication, this is going to fuel, you know, actions. So be aware of that. Um, it is in your fire sector. So this perhaps, this may pose a challenge. Um, but if you are aware of it, and if you're watching this video, you are, um, you know, you can be ready for that and act accordingly. Okay. For your water card with your emotions, your love life, you have the ace of pentacles in reverse. Um, let me just straighten them out for you. Okay, so like Ace of Pentacles, that's not very like romantic or anything like that. Um, so I, you know, I'm going to just throw out there that, you know, I, I very much doubt that there's going to be like some, a lot of heated romances going on. Not that there can, there can't be, but you know, this is the Ace of Pentacles. It has to deal with finances and it has to deal with resources and things of that nature. Now it is in reverse. Now generally when this card is upright, it's very positive you're receiving some kind of resource from the universe or from a person or a situation or her, or however, ultimately it's from God and the universe. Um, but since it is in its reverse position, this could be you losing some kind of, you know, financial gain or, or something like that. Um, I'm going to guess though that uh, this may not have to do with money. Now it does have to do with something that you find valuable. Um, But it's in your water sector. However it is, I feel like it's, you know, there's a money situation that you're in and it's connected to your emotions. It may be bringing you down. 
perhaps some of you are in debt, perhaps you've had plans to pay off certain bills, but yet, you know, the, your plans are falling through and that's a disappointment. Um, however, you know, there's some kind of disappointment there that is emotionally affecting you. Um, and when it comes to love and romance, like relationships and that type of thing, um, this really has nothing to do with that. So if you are looking for love, if you are dating and things are going well and stuff like that, this does not mean anything negative on that. Um, you know, so just keep that in mind. This card is really not re touching on that subject at all. It's just saying that, you know, there's something dealing with money or resources that, um, is not very positive. How far does it go? I can't really tell you. It could be something really small. It could be you um, really have a hankering for some fast food, but you forgot your wallet at home and you don't have enough money for it. <laughs> something like that. Or it could be something much bigger. Okay, so, um, you know, it, it, it's really, it's going to be different for all of you. And I, I do feel that uh, some of you, you're making the problem worse than it is. Okay, you're getting worked up over something that is not as big as you're making it. So again, you may need to change your perception and look at it from a different angle. You know, if if plans have fell through somehow when it comes to some kind of something that deals with finances, um, it's not it's not that dire. Okay, um, you just need to you know, swallow, swallow the bitter pill that, oh, well, I may, I may not be able to do this this month, but I can do it next month. It, it's not, you know, ideal, but it is what it is. Okay, so that is your reading in its entirety. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please push that like button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And um, leave me a comment because I always love to hear about that.